All right, so we just bought our tickets at Tivoli Garden. It was 820 kroner for three people, two of which have unlimited rides. Just to get in the park is about 20 bucks. $55 a person to get into the park with unlimited rides. Pretty good deal. Not getting that at Disneyland or Disney World. So let's go in. entire world. It was built in 1843. This is exactly what Disney came and engulfed and saw and you already saw the mountain and it looks exactly like some other mountain that I've seen at another park before. I wonder if it's gonna be like Matterhorn. Probably not. If there's a Yeti on here I'm gonna be mad. Matterhorn. It looks like a matter of there's no Look, Yeti. Look, animatronic cow. Oh, shut up! a real tree. That is not a fake tree. That's not? real. Nope. Real tree. It's a real tree. I like it. Okay, so the, uh, the beer garden here at Tivoli is pretty cool. Um, it's got two levels, a really good selection of draft beer. This is a 0.75 liter to go. You can get a liter to drink there, but 0.75 liters of uh, Edelweiss Dunkel uh, was 12 bucks. It's not too bad for a to-go beer in a theme park, um, and it's actually quality beer too. Highly recommend checking this place out. Cheers.
So this is interesting. They actually have a casino in the theme park. It smells like Vegas. Princess and causes great trouble, helped by three big dogs. Many adventures lie ahead. I know this. Friends, friends, She came to love a human, and so made a man. Some people believe flattery, others praise stuff they cannot see. So it was with the Emperor's new clothes. Can an artificial nightingale sing as beautifully as a real one? A swift reindeer carried her northward as she searched for the Snow Queen's castle. Kai and Gerda are safely home, but watch out. The wicked demons are still causing mischief. The shepherdess and the chimney sweep decided to run away from her disapproving grandfather. But the world is so big! Thank you for joining me in my life. I always enjoy sharing adventures. What do you think of that? I love it! They brought it out at different times, it was so fresh. It was almost like being in, in a Japanese restaurant. It was awesome. Willkommen am Bohr, Landgraber. <lacht>
like the land, except the little mini version. Yeah, kind of. This obviously would not be allowed in Disney. Why is that? Because you could, I just, could just cut pick down. Because I this up and just throw it at somebody or throw it in these trees or kick it over. Or burn the place down with it. Yes! What? Huh. I don't like this. This is offensive. I just got on it and it feels like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It feels like it, it drives like it, it looks like it, it just doesn't have a license plate. It has, look at it, it's like made for me. Look at all the back of it. It's got champagne. It's loaded up. Jumping. Yeah, you're jumping. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh. 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 I got done with the day at Tivoli, and uh, I have to say it was a lot better than expected. I'd heard good things, I hadn't done any spoilers, so I didn't really know quite what to expect. There were two dark rides, a Hans Christian Andersen one and a mine train ride, or mine train flume ride, <laughs> that had uh, animatronics. Both were actually really wonderful. And um, some cool coasters, some regular Six Flags type rides. You don't really come here for the ride, so I think it's more about the theming, the gardens, the beautiful lights, the beautiful fountains, the wildlife, just kind of basking in this awesome theme, kind of oasis in the middle of the city. Not that the city's not pretty, but this is just in the middle of a giant city. There's this beautiful garden theme park. It's kind of unique and original. And I could see why Walt came here and was just like blown away and had never seen anything like it. It was like, I can take this and I can take my World's Fair stuff and I can mesh them together for something really, really cool. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, it's kind of the genius of Walt Disney. But uh, anyone who comes to Europe, anywhere in Northern Europe, definitely needs to make a trip to Tivoli. It's a must-do for any Disney fan.